This is going to be your guide to beasts in Hogwarts Legacy. Now in order to catch and tame beasts, you need to progress through the main story until the beast class unlocks, and then you need to complete that storyline with Poppy. After that, you get a quest chain for Deke that expands your room of requirement to have vivariums, which will increase the amount of animals that you can store in your room of requirement, and also unlock things like the breeding pen. This also depends on how far you've made it through the main story and how many trials you have completed. So that's just kind of like the very basics. You can't do anything until you start unlocking it naturally through game progression. But now that we've gotten that out of the way, let's talk about where you can find these beasts and how to catch them. You can keep track of the beasts you've encountered in the collections menu. As you can see, there's 13 in total, and a lot of them are naturally encountered through the beast story or the main quest. But if you want to find where they are, you have to look to the map. Also, this video is going to go into these specific locations, but you're looking for these claw symbols, and then you can see the name of the beast right there, even if you haven't found it yet. So we have the Mooncalf Den, and then we have the Puffskin Den over here, but there's multiple locations for even the same species of beasts. So we have another one for the puffskins, another one for moon calves, and then deeper in something like the Forbidden Forest, we can see something like unicorns. Okay, and as you kind of keep looking around, you can find some different ones like the giant purple toad, that's puffskin again, and then something like the niffler. Nifflers are gonna be very useful, so let's head on over there. And it's mostly just that, like finding it on the map if you don't know the exact location, and then heading in that direction. Now to catch Beast, you want to use control spells, Accio. so I like pulling them over with Accio, I like Leviosoing them, and then we can go switch on over to our bag, or you can have that on the same uh, spell kit, and then you eventually just press square when it's lined up, and you can catch it just like that. So Arresto Momentum is the best spell for ca catching Beast, but you need to go deep into the story, and as you can see, I don't have it unlocked, but it also isn't completely necessary. So now we can grab a Niffler, and we can just kind of keep running around until we have all the beasts that we need. And you do want a male and a female one, that way they can breed. Now there are some interesting nuances to catching beasts. For example, you can just mash the square button to try to get it as soon as possible. Like, there's no lockout, there's no drawback to like hitting the button too soon or anything like that. So it really helps to kind of just know that early on. Also, as you fight poachers, you might find some cages that have beasts inside of them. And if you've unlocked lock picking, again, quest and all the story and stuff like that then you can actually get beasts that are not found in dens so let's go and unlock this real quick and once you do it will set the beast free but it's scared it's an animal it doesn't know or care that you rescued it well actually it probably cares a little bit but it doesn't know that you're there to help it so it's still going to try to run off which means you need to have your spells ready even if you are going to be rescuing it so we can just kind of do the same things with it and then that's pretty much all there is to it. You can try to keep in the area. You can also move a little bit while holding the bag. So you want to chase it to keep it in range. And just like that, boom. Settle yourself. I mean you no harm. Since we just caught a Neasel, let's get some more. So if you go south of Hogwarts to the northern South Sea Bog, go that flu flame, head a bit more south. And there's going to be a Neasel den there. Also close by, we have a giant purple toad den. So if you're just trying to gather everything else, you can go and set that waypoint and then head on over to it when you have all the Neasels that you want. Another interesting thing about this is that you don't have to get the animal on the first try that if it ends up getting away from you, it like saves progress in a kind of weird way. So I'm going to let this one run off. Or sometimes the game is just silly and then it traps itself and it makes it easier to get. Okay. Okay, it happened again. I guess Neasels are just not really that skittish. But you can actually see a yellow ring around the max range. And if that breaks, then that means you're just going to stop that catch. But there's still a ring around it, so it kind of saves the progress, and then you can go and try again. So even if it, like, gets out of your grip, there's no problem. You can just kind of keep chasing down the animal until you eventually catch it. Now, to see the beast that you currently have on hand, you can go to your inventory, and that's how you can check if you have, like, male and females and all the ones that you're looking for. So we got a male and female Niffler. We also have a male and female Neasel, so we're good to go on that front. Let's grab some toads. At this point, it's just going to be the same thing, so not really any more tactics are needed for catching these. And, yeah, you just get them. Easy. Now, if we go north of Hogsmeade to the east north Ford Bog, we can find Thestrals there, and then also to the west of that, there's going to be Jobber Knolls. So let's go and grab some of those. 
Now, there's a few other things about catching beasts because you can catch as many as you want that are available in the area. So we can do that, and some are going to be more difficult than others. So this one has five, but yeah, you can just mash square and you can get it generally first try. But if you catch all of the beasts in an area, all you have to do is skip time until the beasts respawn that everything in this game is going to be time gated. So you can just kind of have time pass naturally through the game, or you can go through, go to the map, hit R3 to wait, and then you can just keep spamming this until things eventually respawn. And it's also recommended that for the easier to catch beasts, you just catch all of them because you can sell them for 120 gold each. So if the gold to time value is worth it to you, then yeah, that's actually going to be a pretty good money making method. Whoopers can be found near Rockwood Castle, so let me finish catching this guy and I can show it to you on the map. Boom. Alright, so Deary Cowl are way the frick south. I found some down here by Marunweem, so let's go and get a few of these. Settle yourself. Hmm, I 100% mispronounced that, didn't I? Alright, for the next two, I am above my pay grade. I am not far enough in the story to get a Graphorn or a Phoenix. Uh, Phoenix is going to be the end of Deke's questline, and the Graphorn is going to be deeper into the main quest for one of the trials. It'll spawn right here, all the way down at the very bottom of the map. And then we have the Hippogriff location in the Forbidden Forest, and my goodness... That is a tricky and fast boy. Okay, more advanced tactics. Oh, I was about to say, let's see what an invisibility potion does for us. But it wears off really quick, so I guess you can also go for disillusionment. What if I pull him in? Uh-oh. Stalling. Stalling. <laughs> and then we go for it. Yes, yeah, this is going to be a tricky one. No need to be difficult. I mean you no harm. Yeah, screw it. Until I get Glacius and Arresto Momentum, not worth it. Also, you have to discover this one manually for it to appear on the map, so that's going to be to the east of the West Forbidden Forest Flu Flame. And I guess we're going to get dabbed on by the Unicorn, too. Alright. Invisibility Potion. Invisibility Potion. I don't know, can we, like, do something about this and then that? And, eh, maybe? Maybe? I guess, I guess you can maybe do this to the Hippogriff, too. I was told that this was going to be, like, the most challenging one to get, but... You, you can do it. Yeah. This. Spam the invisibility potions, run up to it, get super close, and then combo it out. And that means we have them all except for the two quest ones. So if you guys enjoyed the video, hope you all have a nice day. Thank you very much for watching.